Agritex grow control systems feature multiple heating thermostats. Like the cooling thermostats, the heating thermostats are each independent, just like having separate thermostats mounted on a wall. To set up a heating device, first navigate to the I.O. tab. Select an output that is available that you would like to control a heater with. We're going to use number 4. Rename the output to something suitable. Click the check button to send the name to the controller's memory. Once you've set the name for the output, navigate to the controls menu. Select a heating thermostat. Enter the day and night temperature set points. The dead band is the allowable temperature drop below the set points. In this example, if the temperature is below 55 degrees, the heater will be activated. The heater output will remain activated until the temperature reaches 55 degrees. The heat will then remain off until the temperature falls by 3 degrees below this set point. At this point, the output will be re-energized until 55 degrees is reached again. When you are satisfied with your set point settings, select an output. Let's select number 4, the one we just named for heater. If this controller is in multiple zone mode and has more than one climate sensor connected, we need to select which climate sensor this thermostat is going to respond to. The default of 0 will read zone number 1. To read sensor values from number 2, select number 2. This is a single zone control system, so we only are going to leave everything at 0. The default sensor type is an indoor air temperature. To make this thermostat respond to water temperature for heating water, select the water temperature sensor. VSC settings are not available for heating thermostats. When you are satisfied with your settings, click the check button to send the sensor settings and set points to the controller's memory.